November 19th, Starship completed its final test flight of the year from the launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas. Unlike the previous five tests, this one pushed the boundaries of Starship and Super Heavy even further. While some objectives were achieved, others ended in disappointment. Although not all goals were met, this test marked the conclusion of Starship's 2024 campaign. Looking ahead, 2025 promises a more ambitious and demanding schedule for the spacecraft. Welcome to Spaceship Earth. In this video, we will cover the highlights of Starship's sixth test flight, why Super Heavy ended up landing in the ocean, and SpaceX's plans for Starship in 2025. To achieve the ambitious goals of SpaceX and NASA's Artemis program, Starship, the cornerstone of these efforts, underwent its sixth flight to test numerous modifications. While the sixth flight followed a plan similar to the fifth, new objectives set this test apart. One of the primary goals was to test the reignition of the Raptor engines in space. The ability to restart these engines in orbit is a critical milestone for the program. If successful, Starship will advance to orbital tests, enabling maneuvers such as orbital insertion, orbital rendezvous, and targeted landings on Earth. Another crucial aspect of the test was to evaluate Starship's heat shield and structural resilience during atmospheric re-entry. Second-generation Starships will feature heat shields in areas designed for catching the vehicle with chopstick arms during Earth landings. However, these fragile ceramic tiles could sustain damage during the catching process. To address this, the test included assessing the resilience of the region beneath the forward flaps, which lacked ceramic tiles against the harsh conditions of atmospheric re-entry. For this purpose, 2,100 ceramic tiles were removed from Vehicle 31. Additionally, the test incorporated improvements aimed at enhancing Super Heavy's approach and capture at the tower. During the first capture attempt, components detached from the rocket's lower stages, leading to a minor fire. According to a tweet shared by Elon Musk during a gaming session, the flight computer came within seconds of aborting the landing during system checks. Both hardware and software improvements addressing these issues were tested in this flight. On the night of November 19th, launch preparations proceeded smoothly, with the rocket engines igniting as planned at all 33 Raptor engines on the 13th Super Heavy booster performed flawlessly, lifting Vehicle 31 off the pad. Super Heavy ascended smoothly, shutting down all but its three central engines at 2 minutes and 43 seconds into the flight. At the same time, Starship ignited its six engines to continue its journey, while Super Heavy initiated its return maneuvers. During this phase, the launch team gave the green light for the booster to proceed to the capture phase. However, approximately one minute later, it was announced that the necessary conditions for tower capture were not met, and Super Heavy was redirected to the ocean. For Super Heavy to be caught by the tower, multiple systems on both the rocket and the tower must be aligned and functional. During pre-capture checks, a communication issue with the tower led to the cancellation of the landing attempt. Shortly after the rocket departed from the tower, it was observed that the tower's communication antenna had bent. Due to these malfunctions, Super Heavy performed a soft landing in the Gulf of Mexico, six minutes and 54 seconds after launch. However, it tipped over after landing and exploded, marking the end of Super Heavy's role in this mission as Starship continued its journey. After shutting down its engines, Starship proceeded through space with its payload, a plastic banana. Secured with strings in the spacecraft's satellite deployment mechanism, this plastic banana floated freely in microgravity as air gradually condensed into mist and escaped from the unsealed payload bay. At 37 minutes into the flight, one of Starship's atmospheric Raptor engines reignited, demonstrating its capability to function in space. With this milestone achieved, the next challenges were atmospheric reentry and a soft landing in the Indian Ocean. At an altitude of 120 kilometers, Starship began generating plasma effects as it re-entered the atmosphere. The forward flaps did not melt, as they had in previous tests, but glowed due to extreme heat. The region beneath the flaps, devoid of heat shields, showed discoloration and deformation from the intense temperatures, but maintained structural integrity, successfully passing the test. After surviving re-entry, Starship slowed its descent like a skydiver, gliding through clouds before reaching its planned landing site in the Indian Ocean, 65 minutes after liftoff. 
during landing, it fired three engines, then two, maintaining a vertical position and performing a soft water landing. Cameras placed at the landing site captured every detail. Shortly after settling in the water, Starship tipped over and burst into flames. This fiery conclusion marked the end of Starship's 2024 test campaign. Unless the FAA grants an unexpected permit, SpaceX will not conduct any further Starship tests this year. So what's in store for Starship in 2025? SpaceX will require FAA approval to continue its test flights in 2025. This approval hinges on the completion of an Environmental Impact Assessment, EIA. According to the draft report, which has received preliminary approval, 25 launches and 50 landings are planned for 2025. If the plan is finalized, SpaceX could conduct tests every two weeks, focusing on catching both Super Heavy and Starship using the tower. Before the final approval, a meeting and review session will be held in Boca Chica in January 2025. The sixth test utilized the last of the first-generation Starships. Starting in 2025, second-generation Starships will take over, featuring larger fuel tanks, smaller forward flaps, and improved materials. The flaps are optimized for better maneuverability in the atmosphere and have been relocated to reduce exposure to extreme temperatures. Additionally, these rockets are lighter, offering enhanced performance. The first test in 2025 will involve another water landing. If successful, the next objective will be tower capture. These tests are designed to prepare Starship for NASA's Artemis program, specifically the Human Landing System, HLS vehicle, that will transport astronauts to the moon. Key milestones include achieving orbit, deploying payloads, returning to a designated location on Earth, testing in-orbit refueling, and conducting an uncrewed lunar landing. Once these steps are successfully completed, Artemis 3 is scheduled to land astronauts on the moon in September 2026. However, achieving this goal depends on SpaceX successfully executing its rigorous 2025 test program. Starship represents humanity's first step toward frequent and reusable space access. In the future, companies like Blue Origin and Chinese organizations such as Calt and Cast Space are expected to develop similar capabilities, increasing accessibility and reducing costs. This progress will pave the way for turning structures and projects we once only saw in science fiction into reality. Thank you for watching Spaceship Earth. If you found this video helpful, please like and share. Support our channel by clicking the thanks button or joining as a member. And don't forget to subscribe for more content about space and space technology.